My fucking uh my fucking uh Cory Danger. Hello and welcome to my show. This is Thrift Episode 2 with me. I know I said I was gonna do like bi weekly or every week, but honestly it's been very hard to find things at the thrift stores that are near me. Sometimes I have to drive 45 minutes to an hour to a thrift store and then find nothing. So I'm going to try to put out as much as I can with whatever I can find. But this is episode two at least. And uh, I found quite a few pieces out in the wild. I did try a Goodwill outlet with the bins. I don't think it's for me. Uh, at least the one I went to in Sacramento, there's at least three a good little outlet outlets in Sacramento and the one I went to was like I went to the best rated one but it's like so much competition I could tell who are the you know vintage uh, resellers out there and there's just a whole there's a whole group of them that they just know each other and I was just like I walk in there and then everybody's just standing waiting for the bins to come out and then they go hurrah and they start pouncing so it's not my thing I gotta find one where there's not a lot of competition, but obviously I have to drive a lot further. So anyways, uh, I went to Napa uh, not too long ago, and I went to a thrift store. They were having a 50% off everything sale. Um, there was a lot of people, but I did manage to find one thing. It's this Tweety Bird, or uh, sorry, Woody Woodpecker. I can obviously, it says Woody in the back. But this is a very nice vintage snapback. Woody in the back there. Woody in the front with the, the TM logo. And then he's got his full profile right there. Uh, it's by American Needle. 1997, as you can see right there. Productions. I thought it said Walt Disney at first, but it's uh, it says Walter Lance. Right there. Uh, made in the USA. Uh, or it doesn't say made in the USA, actually. It says made in Rep Dom. Uh, so I was like, maybe the Republic of Dominican or something like that. But it's 1997. Still a nice looking hat. The brim is pretty good. No real sweat stains or marks there. The snaps are still pretty good. Like that. It's not, you know, tight or anything, but at least it still works. So. Not a bad find. I think I only got this for two dollars. Maybe maybe a dollar. I forgot. It was a while ago. But very nice pickup. Number one. Number two, this isn't this isn't really a vintage shirt, but I got it because it's it's a brand that I've heard of. And then I saw the tag and it was a very interesting tag. And I was like, oh okay, I know what this is. So it is a ape by Bathing Ape featuring Steve Aoki. Somewhere in the ape universe. It's a little, a little dusty, but the back's pretty cool. It has, uh, I, I don't know, it's a puns, a pun versus maybe? I don't know. It's got an ape with like a Steve Aoki sort of out, outline. And there's Steve Aoki with ape. Um, it's a bathing ape. The tag is what really caught my eye. As you can see here, it says BAPE, size medium, um, it doesn't say a made, where it was made, yeah, but it has a gold inner tag of an ape, and it was a $6.99 at Savers, so I just got it because the resale is pretty decent. I could probably get like 25, 30 bucks out of it. I mean, it's Stevie Aoki, still a very popular DJ. I think they can call him the Korean Jesus or something, and he throws cake at people. So nice to have a Stevie Aoki shirt to find out in the wild. I found two. These are like, they're not any name brand or anything, but they are vintage. They got nice, cute little designs to it. It's a, uh, it's two blood drive shirts. Give blood, heart of the community. Uh, says blood bank of Alameda Contra Costa Medical Association. 
there's some holes, a little bit of holes in this one. This is a bright white, but look at the vintage look to it. It is single stitched. I don't know if you can tell, single stitch, and obviously the tag is what caught my eye. First is $6.99, and then it's a BFP, very best, Fruit of the Loom, uh, made in the USA. You can see right there, so obviously vintage, single stitch. Uh, fairly clean, but like I said, there's no, there's no real pit stains or anything, but there is like a little hole. Like, there's a, there's a little dot there. There's a hole there, but still very nice. Same time, I got the a heathered gray version of it. Give blood, be a part of the heart. Same blood bank, but this one is a pretty nice, decent '90s design. Six ninety nine. Same Hanes uh, best. Fruit of the loom or fruit of the loom best. These are both extra larges, made in the USA. Single stitch on the sleeve. And I think single stitch on the bottom. So two very nice extra extra large shirts, vintage. Nothing on the back on this one or the white one, but I mean, still nice. Represent your, you know, blood giving uh, stuff. This one I found at a opportunity house, and it really caught my eye because of the design. It's Lassen College Team Camp. I mean, but look at that basketball. Look at that vintage look. It's cracking on the basketball, obviously. You can see. You can see the cracking. I don't know what Lassen is. Maybe it's the college name or whatever. But it's such a cool looking design. Stands out, obviously, with the basketball. The back. Biggest little team camp in the world in Susanville. Jerseys, 50-50 jersey, extra large, made in the USA. Damn, it was only $2.99. Single stitch, right there. Double stitch on the bottom though, so. But very cool. Very vintage, nice looking basketball design. If you're into basketball, obviously it's a Pretty nice, legit looking shirt. This one, I saw the tag. It was very vintage looking. It's a Nike shirt. Nike Olympic Trials. It's a green, very vintage looking. Uh, it was fairly expensive though. It's $10.49, uh, but I did have like a 20% discount at Savers. So I got it for like eight, eight bucks-ish, maybe. But there's that vintage logo. It's not made in USA or whatever. It's made in Macau. It's a size small. But it has this pre in the back. Which I think stands for Prefontaine. And the pre is like a so-damn so velvety pre. Uh, I think I saw one on eBay going for like, I think it was 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I don't know. But it's just a really nice looking shirt. And it's a Nike, so... I couldn't really pass it up, and I had a discount, so I might as well have forgotten it. And finally, the last shirt I picked up, it was a cool little design. The Rubber Ducky Derby. Oh, straighten that out there. Look at that. Three ducks with sunglasses. I got a million bucks back there. Better Benefiting the Children's Hospital of Oakland. It has the date right there, Saturday, August 12th, 1995. Estuary Channel Park, Laney College, Oakland. This one was kind of expensive too. $7.79 on the tag. Fruit of the Loom Best tag made in the USA. Uh, size XL. Even the back's pretty cool. It has a, like an old school car, Saturn. We're here for the children. See you there. And a whole bunch of other sponsors in there. Jacuzzi, Bay Cable Advertising, Bay TV, Citibank, the Oakland Tribune. Many thanks to our generous sponsors. But this is such a cool looking vintage tee. Single stitch. I don't know if you can see it. Very hard to see in the lining, but vintage nonetheless. Pretty cool tee. 
I like it. Clean, no stains. Actually smells nice too. <laughs> but yeah, those were the finds for at least three weeks of me going out to, I guess, the three main thrift stores I have. I do have a route, but just one straight drive. It's Opportunity House, then I go around, up a hill to Goodwill, and then down the hill. Next to my gym is the Savers, so it's a nice little route that I take. I could take every day, and then at the end I could just get a workout in. I actually check my Savers twice. I check before I go work out, and then I go work out, then I go back to see if they restocked anything. I kind of like having a gym and a Savers right next to each other, literally next to each other, so I can kill time and, you know, look good while doing it. But uh, here's the new design layout, I guess, I have right now going on. I did buy a new camera. It's an Insta360 Link. That's what you're looking at right now. Bam. Had some good reviews. Uh, my friend, my roommate, uses a DJI Osmo 3, which is pretty much the same little gimbal type uh, camera but yeah I needed a new camera anyway one that focuses a lot easier the one I was using before takes a long time to focus but at least this camera focuses fairly quickly that's what I like and then I can move the gimbal and stuff and it's a 4k camera and so yeah but this is the layout for now things that I'm into bare bricks toys look at that vintage this is actually a legit vintage WWE sealed Ultimate Warrior. Still has a little price tag there too. Four ninety five was how much it used to cost. I used to have a lot of these uh, back in the day, but this was the only one that I had sealed. Uh, this one is a. Um, it's not like pristine because the edges are a little bent, but it is a different version. This one has the, um, it has something inside that's different. There's two different versions of this I've been researching of this Ultimate Warrior. One doesn't have this card in the back, I think. So this might be rarer. I don't know for sure, but yeah, I collect things like that. Gujitsu. I found the X, the Ultra, ultra Rare. Uh, oh. I didn't know it was wet. There's water in it. I didn't. <laughs> I never knew there was water in this thing. Maybe the. Hmm. I thought it was only squishy, but it's the first time I've ever seen it have water in it. But yeah, I collect a lot. Of, look at the old school power glove, Supreme. Supreme. Yeah, but this is the layout for now. I'm gonna obviously. Part three is going to come eventually when I find more things. But until then, this is how it's going to be. I hope you like it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. As always, love, peace, and chicken grease. I'll see you next time.